Basically, the only good thing about my room is that my cat's like sleeping in my bed. Yeah, that's uh, that's about it. Hi guys, and welcome to my room. <laughs> The best word you can use to describe my room is probably just a mess. That is actually two words, which is even better, because I am also a mess. <laughs> if you are in any way familiar with me, you will know that I am not really a um, tidy person. I'm more of a organized chaos person at best, and most usually just a chaos person. The majority of my life, my room has been so dirty that you can't even see the floor. And that's the way it always has been. I've always just had so much stuff that my room, even though I tidy it, it's not really tidy because there's just stuff everywhere. The new decade is here and I decided that, you know what, it's time for a change. <laughs> so that is why I decided to make this video. I didn't mention is that I'm not making this video because I think it's an interesting video and anyway I'm making this video because I need some kind of accountability to not just abandon my room in the middle of it so yeah you're I, I'm using you to hold myself accountable sorry which is probably gonna turn into a series because I need to one deep clean my room two seriously declutter and just rinse out all the stuff that I don't need and don't use three just give my room a proper makeover. So uh, yeah, first things first, I guess, uh, we're gonna clean my room. Yeah, that's uh, it's gonna take a while. <laughs> so because my room is literally always a mess, I have established the perfect clean your room agenda. <laughs> <laughs> Only cleaning it though, not really keeping it clean. Ah! So if you're anything like me, the first thing you're gonna want to do is just fix all the clothes that are just lying everywhere. <laughs> So what I'm doing is I'm picking up all of my clothes off the floor and putting them into my laundry baskets if they're dirty and putting them into my clean clothes basket if they're not dirty. However, I don't sort them more than that because I like doing things the hard way. Short cat intermission. Also, if you're wondering, yes, I will be wearing sweatpants the entire video. Just, yeah. If that annoys you, you'll just have to be annoyed. I'm sorry. Always remember to check under your furniture, like your bed, because I am sure you have a stray sock or other random ass piece of clothing hiding underneath. So without the clothes on the floor, there is already a significant difference. Now I just... Um... So now for doing the laundry. Now is when I take out all of my clothes from the laundry baskets onto the floor and sort them into three piles, white, black and colored. The pile that wins will be the pile that gets to get washed. All the other clothes will be sorted back into the laundry baskets, this time a little more sorted than the way before because they're already in piles. All the clothes that were already clean, or at least clean enough not to get washed, will be Marie kondo into the drawers. Honestly, the Marie Kondo method has really helped me though when it comes to keeping my room a little bit cleaner. So yeah, uh, props to you Marie Kondo, I'm a big fan. Cat intermission. They're so fucking cute. Also, one problem that I want to fix is that I have too much clothes to keep them all in my room. I have them outside my room, like half of them. So yeah, I, I really want to fix that. <laughs> okay, so... Now that that's done, it is time to pick up the trash. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hello. What are you doing? Yeah, start. I'm in the room. Well, that's a good thing. I know, right? So, of course, because I have the attention span of a five-year-old, when my dear friend Elsa called me, I forgot to move the camera so that you could actually see anything of what I was doing, but basically I wasn't doing anything more interesting than picking up trash off the floor and talking about work with my friend, Elsa. Hi Elsa, I love you. You're like the only person who watches my videos. Yeah. Love you. change. Now that all the trash is mostly gone, it is time to just clear 
all surfaces meaning the floor all the shelves and everything like that so that i can dust and then vacuum here's a pro tip when it comes to dusting and stuff like that i really don't want to insult your intelligence with this tip but i really did not learn this until a couple of years ago so i feel like there might be more people who don't know this if you already know this Please, I am not insulting your intelligence, I'm just dumb. Start from the top and then work yourself down to the bottom because if you vacuum and then like dust a shelf, all that dirt is gonna land on the floor and you're gonna have to vacuum again. So, top to bottom. So here's the secret to my cleaning your room agenda. When I say clear the surfaces, what I really mean is put everything on your bed. Everything. Just put everything in your room on your your bed. I'm serious, this is what I've done my entire life when I clean my room. I just put everything on my bed so that I have clear surfaces, I can clean everything, and then when I put everything back, it's all good. It's all clean. It's perfect. I'm a genius, I promise. Fun fact, most of the flowers that I had on that top shelf were 50% mold. For the life of me, cannot remember why I'm shaking the boxes after taking them out. Your guess is as good as mine. I really have no clue. You see me knocking over the trash can? Beautiful, right? I'm so graceful. And don't forget to hoover underneath your bed because if my science teacher taught me anything it's that the bed is where most dust and dirt in your room comes from. And here is me getting distracted by my phone for more or less 10 minutes. Okay so uh, now on to mopping. Yeah. I've always been cleaning for like an hour but I'm already like dead. I'm sweating. This is so tiring. Okay, so uh, because I'm a genius, I forgot to record me swabbing and mopping my floors, but you know what, I just saved you the trouble of seeing me just being very bad at that. So basically, now that all the surfaces are clean, comes the fun part of um, putting everything back. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yep. So the real cleaning actually happens while I'm putting everything back because that is when I set myself up for failure by putting everything back the exact same way it was before, meaning it'll get dirty again more or less in a week. This time I really did try though to put it back in a way that I wouldn't mess up in a week. I cannot say that I uh, succeeded, but you know, I tried. That's what matters. I also changed my sheets because when you've had your entire room on your bed, it's always good to change your sheets. And here is the end result. As you can see, it is a lot better, but the whole layout of the room is still a little messy. It's not built for success. It's not built for being clean. So that is what we're gonna fix next time huh did you see me do that you know like leading up to the next yeah, yeah part of the series yeah okay yeah i didn't film an outro for this video so i'm just gonna say bye here bye bye